Who is gonna get exposed tonight? Today, we are talking about Elian Gurare's response to President King Gop. If you like to advertise your YouTube channel, music video, or your music boutique, or anything, please don't forget to use Namibia's hot tea for your advertisement services. Hit me up in the inbox, in my email address, to find out the cost or the rates for my advertisement services. Anyways, you guys know that Elian Gurare and President Gengob never see eye to eye. They are like water and fire. They probably despise each other. I don't know who despise who more, but I know they hate each other. You guys know that I did this video for you guys where I told you how Gengob responded to the corruption scandal, which I felt like was wrong for him to do. Anyways, Nani, Elian Gurare caught wind of this. And by the way, just when I thought I couldn't love Elian Gurare more, I love him even more after this response. Anyways, so the Namibian quoted this article of what King of said. I even did this video for you guys. It's for Elian Gurare to reply to that saying, He was not forced to comment. The best reaction was silence. What due process did he accord Pendukuna Ivelo Itana Petrina Hangura or Jerry Ekanjo when he summarily dismissed them? Do you guys know that Gengo dismissed these people when they challenged him last year for that Swapo presidency? Do you guys remember when there was that team Swapo? Yes. Gengo fired them. Imagine he fired people that were challenging him, but these people that are involved in the corruption scandal, they're getting a through pass. Uh -huh. That was like a really good job. It's for somebody to respond to that saying, they were asked to respond as to why they should not be fired in the case of Jerry and Itana. That is a fact, comrade. It's for Elian Gurare to respond, is that what you call natural justice, comrade? And then this person responds now, saying, that is what he was saying yesterday. I'm just clarifying the notion that the president didn't accord them an opportunity to take their side of the story. And then now, Elian Gurare responded to that saying, the problem is that those who are meant to help the president with facts allow him to zigzag in legal and societal cul-de-sac. Was it impossible for him to keep quiet? And to be honest, um, I kind of agree with Elian Gurare here because I just feel like he at most should have kept quiet about the whole scandal. And I'm sure Pendukini, Ivula Itana, and Jerry Ekanjo are probably at home celebrating. They're like, yes, yes, Okulimo now. Okulimo now. I'm so happy that he's in trouble. Oh, yes, I probably, yes, they probably are. I probably would have done the same thing. I can't hang away. Or somebody that fired me while I was innocent and he is protecting corrupt people. Are. And they're probably saying, thank you, Namibia. We're at least seeing Gengo for what he truly is. Because we saw him first and you didn't believe us. You didn't understand why we were challenging him. Now you see what we're talking about. And yes, Pendukele Ivola Itana and Jerry Ekanjo from Namibia's hot tea, I am sorry I should have believed you. I should have voted for you then. Oh.